A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 26 December. On the front page you have UP tends as PM calls for introspection. So the Uttar Pradesh state government has issued notices to people in Meerut for damage of property during protests. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi has denounced this damage as such during the protests and asked those who indulge in vandalism in the name of protest to introspect if their past was right. And this is massive locust invasion in Gujarat. So here you can see that uh, Gujarat which shares uh, border with uh, Pakistan is under attack from newborn locusts that have flown in across the international border. So this is locusts invading farms in North Gujarat. So it is said officials have been caught napping despite alert. So you can see here the locusts they are known as Tiddies locally. So they have wreaked havoc on standing crops including castor, cumin, jatropha and cotton and fodder grass in around 20 talukas in Gujarat. And there was warning given, you can see, uh, an alert from UN Food and Agriculture Organization of a massive locust attack in South Asia covering Pakistan in India had been issued as such. And also locust warning organization in Jodhpur had noticed the swamps and predicted their trajectory across the international border. However, preventive measures by the authorities were not taken. On page 7, you have Lokayukta gets 23,718 complaints in 5 years. He commends action in 364. So, this is about Maharashtra Lokayukta. No record of what happens to the special report and how many corrupt, corrupt officials have been suspended has been provided. So, here you can see the report has been submitted to the competent authority recommending action in just 364 of 23,718 cases. So this is there you can see although new Lokpal and Lokayukta Act 2013 was passed years ago, state official state of uh, affairs with Maharashtra Lokayukta remain the same. They have not modified as per the uh, latest act. And there is no record of what happens uh, about special reports, what action is taken against corrupt officials. On page 8 you have 130 crore Indians are Hindu society. So this is RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat who said that there are three features of a Hindu which he mentions as a person who considers India as his or her motherland, worships it and loves, uh, its, uh, loves its land and water. So that person is a Hindu regardless of language, region uh, or religion. And below you have earliest Sanskrit inscription in South India found in AP. So this is Saptamatrika cult evidence which dates back to 207 AD in Satvahana King Vijaya's era. So this has been found, you can see an epigraphic evidence as such, which is the earliest Sanskrit, in Sanskrit inscription to have been found in South India till date. So, this Sapta Matrika is a group of seven female deities. Sapta means seven. Matrik means female. So, female deities. They are worshipped in Hinduism as personification of energy. The energy of respective consorts. So, the inscription is in Sanskrit and in Brahmi characters. So, it was during Satvahana King Vijaya's rule in 270 AD. So, this found in South India in Karnataka. Then on page 9 you have study wants of growing cancer burden across India. So this is you can see that number of cancer cases are increasing over the years and fastest epidemiological transition is recorded in Kerala. Lowest in UP. So this is regarding cancer and its transitions. On the editorial page, the first editorial is dangerous double speak. So this is regarding NRC and contradictory statements of Prime Minister and the Home Minister. So it says government's position on the NRC appears designed to create confusion. So, and below you have mind the gap. So this is regarding women's access to resources and opportunities, the gender gap. So it says a rounded approach is necessary to ensure 
women's upliftment. So this is the this rather women empowerment, which we speak of. Then the lead article is the Musharraf verdict was a long time coming. So this is regarding the verdict by Pakistan court in which former army general Parvez Musharraf and former president of Pakistan who had brought an emergency in the country, he has been sentenced to death. So this is the high treason case of Pakistan. So Pakistan's political parties have maintained silence on the result of the on the verdict in this case. Uh, Musharraf is in the, uh, Dubai, so he would not be immediately affected by the verdict. But uh, it is a clampdown on the military by the judiciary. But the government, Pakistan's political parties are silent, which this article says is only strengthening the military's hand. Then this is an article on Citizenship Amendment Act. It says an act that fails the constitutional test. So this article says that government needs to display an accommodative approach in its reaction to the protests against CAA. And below and on the opet page, you have the return of the secular. So this article says that young protesters across India have brought Gandhi's vision of secular into the public discourse. So, upholding secular ideal, not discriminating on the basis of religion is what this article speaks of and here you have different state leadership call in different state leadership caused bjp's jharkhand loss so not important for us and here you have detention not linked to nrc so this is uh, you can see regarding detention so facility to hold foreigners ahead of their deportation as such is what detention centers are but once NRC is brought in, that foreigners would cl clearly be identified and they have to be placed in detention centers. And they would be repatriated if the country to which, or deported, if the country to which they belong, they have proper documents for it and the country accepts them. Only then they can be deported, otherwise they will stay in detention centers. Only. Then, on page 12, you have Modi launches at least scheme on groundwater. So this we had seen yesterday too, that there's a scheme called At Atal Bhujal scheme to strengthen institutional framework for participatory groundwater management. So this aims to bring about behavioral change in community for sustainable groundwater resource management in seven states. On international page, you have uh, news of protests continuing in Hong Kong as well as in Iraq. Apart from that, here you have Typhoon fan phone batters philippines thousands hit so this is strop, tropical storm typhoon fan phone which has blacked out many cities and towns in philippines and you can see that so this is the disaster which struck this uh, southeast asian nation and here you have 35 civilians killed in terrorist attack in burkina faso so 80 extremists and seven soldiers also died in this double attack uh, apart from which, you know, uh, 35 civilians, almost all of them women, have been killed. So this happened in Burkina Faso, which borders Mali and Niger in African continent. So it has been seen regular jihadist attacks, which have left hundreds of deaths in 2000, 2015, when militant violence began to spread across the Sahel region of Africa. On business page, you have Niti member bats for two GST slaps. So this is Niti Aayog member Ramesh Chan. He has said that frequent rate changes causes problems and annual review uh, might work better. And he has said there should be two GST. You know, there are presently four GST rate slaps, 5%, 12%, 18%. 28% apart from which some categories which are exempted from GST so at nil duty and some which also have 28% GST plus cess so these are five goods in that category as such which are taxed the most so he says that this should not be the way it should there should be only two levels you know two GST slabs rather than so many so this is his viewpoint given on this and here you have NTPC to invest 50,000 crore for 10 gigawatt solar capacity. 
so this is ntpc state owned uh, enterprise which is now uh, eyeing 2022 deadline and wants to enhance its solar capacity it will also use green bonds to fund its plans for 10 gigawatt solar capacity so ntpc actually was for thermal power but now it is known only by its acronym because it has diversified into other sectors also like here you can see it is solar energy and below you have center promises free wi-fi to 48,000 villages till march 2020 so to promote uptake of internet in rural areas telecom and it minister ravishankar prasad has said that has promised free wi-fi to about 48,000 villages which are connected through government flagship bharat net project so in the next three months this will be brought in free internet and here you have gst watchdog finds jnj 230 crore rupees so this is gst watchdog that is national anti-profiteering authority so it has asked johnson and johnson to deposit a little over 230 crore rupees with the center and states for making profits by not passing the gst benefits to consumers so here you can see and this is India I's 60% share of global ship recycling business. So this is what Union Minister says that ship recycling business can result in spur in the economy. It uh, uh, contributions from such activities, he says, to GDP will re reach 2.2 billion dollars. But then ship uh, uh, recycling or ship breakdown actually also results in uh, you know, uh, pollution. So, Alang in Gujarat is said to be the world's biggest shipyard. So, it is ready to cater to the projected increase in number of ships for recycling. But then it is hazardous to the environment, hazardous to the workers who work on this. And developed countries do not uh, break down the ships in their country. Rather, they send it to developing countries for this work. So, this is controversial. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, asha.com. Thank you.